To give you a little bit idea of uh, what is control chart, let us take a simple example. Suppose I collect the data of my travel time from my home to office every day and I find that on an average I am taking 30 minutes and uh, standard deviation is uh, 5 minutes and uh, we know how to calculate the standard deviation and how to calculate the average. Now if I plot the data on a histogram then lower control limit would be minus 3 sigma limits that will be 15 minutes and uh, upper control limit would be 45 minutes that is plus 3 times the standard deviation. So lower control limit being 15 and upper control limit being 45, I can say that my uh, travel time is going to vary between 15 to 45 minutes. So you can expect me to travel to my office every day between 15 to 45 minutes. If someone asks me why this variation between 15 to 45 uh, minutes is there, I can tell him that it is due to common cause variation. What is common cause variation? I can say that uh, the variation between 15 to 45 minutes is due to lots of factors. Uh, these factors can be the, uh, the traffic on the road, the weather, the car I use, the, uh, my mood, <laughs> or it can also depend on at what time I start from my home. So a lot of factors which we can call it as X factors are affecting the travel time, which is the Y here. So I can make the statement that the variation between 15 minutes to 45 minutes is due to the common causes. Means all the causes are acting on my system and producing this variation. This is known as voice of process. As if my process is telling, my traveling process is telling that I will take between 15 minutes to 45 minutes. Now if I take 60 minutes to travel to my office, then uh, same question is asked to me that why did I take 60 minutes, then my answer won't be uh, uh, that all the causes are acting on my system and producing this variation of 60 minutes. I might be able to point out a cause. We call it a special cause. So I can, I may say that uh, uh, I took 60 minutes because uh, maybe uh, today uh, there was too much traffic on the road or it can be any factor. So when I go out of control limits, I can specify a special cause. And we call this variation as a special cause variation. So we have two types of variation, common cause variation and special cause variation. Common cause variation is part of the process, part of the natural variation of the process. And special cause variation is assignable variation. I can assign a cause to that particular event. Now, what is the difference between common causes and special causes? For special causes, you need to take immediate action. Means you need to take a prompt action so that you are able to bring the process within control. But for common causes, you should not take any specific action. Usually the common cause is within the control limits. And if you want to act upon the common causes, you might have to change the control limits. And changing the control limits takes effort. You may have to do a DMAC project. You may have to do a lean project. You may have to do a Six Sigma project. And that's what we are doing. That is why we say that lean and Six Sigma is applied to chronic problems. A process is behaving in a certain way. It is behaving within some control limits for a long, long time. Last six months or seven uh, months, your procurement time has been, uh, say, 120 days plus minus uh, 30 days. And I would like to change the control limit. I would like to change the DNA of my process. And that is why I would need to do a Six Sigma project.